Good morning, good morning. Welcome back to Kindergarten Ready. Let's go ahead and get our day started with our morning meeting, okay? We're gonna start with what day of the week it is, okay? So when we look over here at my pointer, when we look over here at our day of the week chart, the first day in most calendars is gonna be Sunday, okay? So we've got Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, okay? And if you need help remembering the days of the week, do you remember our song? Yeah? Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday, days of the week. You guys remember it? Okay, so if you have trouble remembering the days of the week and what order, you can always sing your song, okay? Um, you can also always look at a calendar. They're always right at the top of your calendar, okay? So we're going to use our day of the week chart, and we're going to find yesterday was t -t 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 Tuesday. Today is, now it starts with a W. Do you remember what sound a W makes? W -w Wednesday. So I'm going to write Wednesday on my whiteboard, okay? Now when I'm writing the days of the week, what's special about the first letter? Do you remember? You got it. It's got to be big, strong, uppercase, okay? Alrighty, so I've got Wednesday. It is a really long word, isn't it? Lots of letters. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and move on to date, today's date. And something really cool happened from yesterday. Do you know what it was? Look up here. It doesn't say March anymore. Oh my goodness, do you know what this says? It starts with a big A. What sounds do A's make? They're either going to say A. Ah, or their sound because they're a vowel. They're gonna say their sound or their name because they're a vowel, okay? Vowels are cool because they get to make different sounds. Okay, so your five vowels are A, E, I, O, U, and sometimes Y, okay? So, is it gonna be April or April? You're right, it is April. We're in a brand new month today. Isn't that exciting? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's go ahead and write today's month, and you guys help me read it. You help me read April, so I'm going to write the word April, and then I need to figure out what day in April, and we talked just a second ago how it is a brand new month. Well, when you start a brand new month, the numbers are going to start over at one, okay? So, we're going to find our Little tab just to make sure we're right because we like to check and recheck, right? Okay, so this says yesterday was Tuesday. Do you remember our morning meeting from Tuesday? Yeah. Today is Wednesday. Oh, did you guys tell me it was Wednesday? You did. You're so smart. Okay, so today's Wednesday. And look, today is, and it's the first. Oh, you guys are so smart. Oh, I don't even know how to handle it. So April the 1st, and the year is 2000. 20. Good job. So to write the date, I need what three pieces of information? Do you remember? Month, day, year. Good job. Good job. Okay, now I need to give April a number. Who remembers what number I gave to March? Do you remember? January, February, March. Okay, so since we started a new month, we probably should do the month song, right? Okay, so everybody stand up. Stand up. You ready? January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. What happens next? <gasps> then you turn around. Good job. Okay, so we just decided that we gave March a three. So if we want to look at our month chart, January is a one, February is a two, March is a three, and April's next, and Mar April is a four. January, February, March, April. So I'm going to give it the number four. It's the fourth month of the year. Good job. Fourth month, first day in that month, and the year is 2020. 20, 2020. Okay, so now it's time to check the weather. So go peek out your window and see what it's doing. We got to know how to dress for today, right? Right? Yeah? We need to know if we need a coat or an umbrella or snow boots. We got we to gotta know this. So, can you tell me, is it very hot, hot, warm, cool, cold?
cold or freezing at your house. What is it? Oh, nice. Okay, so now we've got to talk about what the sky's doing, okay? What the actual weather's doing up there. This is the temperature, and this is what the sun and the clouds and the rain and the snow are doing, okay? So is it sunny at your house? Partly cloudy. Partly cloudy is where you can see the sun peeking through, but there's still a pretty good bit of clouds, okay? Um, cloudy, the clouds have taken over the sky. You can't see the sun or a blue sky at all, okay? Rain, it's coming down. It's rainy. Um, snowy. Is it snowing outside? Oh, my. Oh, my. Windy. If you say it's windy, you got to look out and see stuff blowing around, either the leaves, the tree branches, um, maybe your mama's flower bushes, but something's got to be moving if you're going to say it's windy, okay? All right, and stormy. Is it really, really dark clouds or thunder, lightning? Does it look stormy like it's going to come a thunderstorm? Okay. All right, have you guys decided what the weather's doing at your house? Excellent, excellent. Okay, so today we are gonna go over homework really quick. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you listening? You got those listening ears turned on? Okay, all right. So today's homework, you guys are gonna make numbers out of Play-Doh. You're gonna start with the numbers one through 10 for today. And then tomorrow we'll add on to that, okay? But for today, just make the numbers one through 10, okay? I'm gonna post a video and show you guys how to do that kindergarten style, okay? All right, the next thing we're gonna do is you're gonna read a nonfiction book. Okay, raise your hand if you know what a nonfiction book is. Would you like me to tell you just to make sure you're right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, we'll double check, right? Okay, nonfiction means it's real. Okay, I like to remember fiction and nonfiction. Fiction is fake. It's got rabbits talking. It has um, dogs wearing clothes and going to school. They're not real, okay? They're not about, um, they're making animals or people do things that they wouldn't normally do in real life, okay? They're fake. Fiction is fake, okay? So that means that nonfiction is not fake. It's real, it's real stuff. You can read a nonfiction book about volcanoes. You can read a nonfiction book about, mm, what's a place you might like to visit? Hmm? We learned about penguins before we got out um, for our homeschool adventure. So my kids read, we read a lot of nonfiction books about animals. Um, nonfiction books are so cool because most of the time they're gonna have photographs actual pictures of what you're learning about. They're so cool, so cool, okay? So your job today is to find a nonfiction text to read, okay? Remember, nonfiction means it's real, it's not fake, it's about something that is real, that you could see or visit or something like that, okay? I want you to get into a nonfiction text, okay? You can find some on Raz Kids if you've got Raz Kids in your class. Um, you might have some at your house, or if you don't, your moms or your dads or whoever's watching you today, the adult that's watching you today, you guys can look online. There are so many wonderful books that have read-alouds on the internet now. So just Google nonfiction books for kindergarten, and there will be a whole slew of them, I promise you, okay? So I hope you guys enjoy your day, enjoy your nonfiction books, and have fun making those numbers out of Play-Doh, okay? We'll see you later.